Hi, this is Rhonda from Montana Bowl of Cherries, and today we are going to work on um, peeling Anaheims and pimentos. Actually, we're going to break it into two videos, but the first part is just going to be the same because the process is the same. So we got the grill hot, and we're going to roast these until their skin gets black on all sides. The, the pimentos just came out so beautiful. They're just huge. Pimentos are the ones that you find in the inside of green olives. When you buy the green olives in the store, then the pimento is the red part on the inside. And they are a pepper. Um, they're also fantastic in things like chicken a la king. Um, and stir fries and stew and so we like them best roasted so we're going to roast them and peel the skin off of them the anaheims are the green chilies that make enchilada sauce and chili rellanos for us that's what we use them for all right so now we're going to close up the grill and just let them cook for a while Every once in a while we just open it back up and flip them over and they're starting to get charred and that's what we're going for. The, all, of, all of the skin is going to be charred by the time we finish. We just keep flipping them over. They smell really good. After they're charred and roasted, then they're going to be wrapped in a wet tea towel. Um, it could also be wet paper towels. They could just go in a plastic bag. And when we freeze the Anaheims, that's what we do is just put them in a plastic bag. You can, you can tell in the beginning that some of the Anaheims... The ends have been nibbled on by the grasshoppers and so that part I'm just going to cut off. When I get to the part where I'm skinning them, I'll cut that off. So when they're done, they'll come over here to this tea towel over here that is wet. Not drink, not dripping wet, but it's, it's damp. In places it's dripping wet, but it will be damp by the time they're on there. The smaller ones get done faster. What we're going for is that the skin will be black all over and in some cases, this one right here, the skin is peeling already. So that one's probably about done. And then they come over here to the tea towel. And see how they're just, the skin is turning black. It's just the skin that is turning black. When the skin is peeled off, then the flesh on the inside is just going to be nicely roasted. It's not going to, it's not going to be burned. Unless, of course, you just ran off to go swimming and left them on the grill, then yeah, they probably would burn. So Cameron has just been flipping them closing the lid every once in a while and then coming back and flipping them again but there's a lot of just turning them involved here. It's been about five or ten minutes. It could take as long as 15 minutes. Some of these great big pimentos might take a while longer. All right. 
right, so here they are. Roasted, skin is charred. And when I put these last two on there, then we're gonna just cover them up so that they are hot and inside the damp towel. So then that's gonna loosen the skin so that it just sloughs right off. So we're gonna just take them in the house and let them just sit there until they cool. All right, so these are cool now. You don't have to wait too long for them to cool, but I had lunch while they cooled off, so they've been sitting here for a while. And then you cut the top off, and then it just peels off. So how thick the Anaheims are depends on how thick the skin on the Anaheims are depends on how well it peels off. But it peels off very easily. And if there's not a lot for skin, then, then there's just not a whole lot left after that. But this one doesn't want to play very well, but this is one of the ones that had the, had some damage to the outside of it. So, so we're not going to get a whole lot out of that one. So sometimes I cut the damage off before I put them on the grill, but that doesn't seem to help with how well the skin comes off. That kind of depends on how thick the Anaheim is. So let's go with this Anaheim right here that is bigger and has a thicker skin. And it, you'll be able to see that it just peels right off there very nicely. So when I work with the Anaheims, there's enough heat in them that I wear gloves. It doesn't bother my hands so much as the capsicum stays on my hands for several hours. So tonight when I take my contacts out, the capsicum will get all over my contacts. And tomorrow morning, my eyes will burn like crazy when I put my contacts back in. So I just wear food service gloves and that solves that problem. There's a box over there in the corner and you can hear Poppy the cat jumping in and out of the box. I don't know why. I don't know why. So then I just peel the seeds out and then if this was going to be a chili riano, it is ready to be stuffed and wrapped and put in the egg whites. All right, so that is all there is to it. So these are going to be frozen and they're probably going to be made into enchilada sauce. So for when I'm freezing them, I don't even bother skinning them until I use them. Chances are, I won't even need to worry about skinning them because when I make enchilada sauce out of it, I throw them in the blender and blend it all up and then strain the skin back out again. So, so that's all there is to it and the skin should come off very easily for you. I hope this helps. Thank you. One more thing. On... Montana Bowl of Cherries website, there is a blog post about peppers and about harvesting them. And so there are more pictures and more written words to go along with this demonstration. Thank you.